What's up, everyone? <laughs> Hello, my name is Maddie Whalen, and today I am revamping my YouTube channel. Ah, applause, whatever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I have wanted to do this for a while. Yeah, uh, I used to make YouTube videos when I was in fourth grade. Uh, my dad and all my friends still make fun of me for those videos. They're still online, so if you could find them, points to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been a while. How's it going, YouTube space? Excited to hang out. Uh, I wanted to do this um, because, for one, I've been watching YouTube forever. Oh my gosh. I've been Jenna Marbles. She was probably my main inspiration for doing this. I hate to admit it. Tana Mojo, she did a lot of great stuff on YouTube, even though she's not the best person. Um, Cody Co, Sexy Phil, or freaking Philip DeFranco. Yeah, I, I've just been watching YouTube forever, so I wanted to hop on and just join the train. Now, my intention is just to do whatever I want, whenever I want on this channel. Um, today, I'm gonna be talking about a little story time. So, stay tuned. Yeah, so this is a story time. <laughs> this is my first attempt at a video like this. Uh, I've posted a couple of reviews, that's about it. But I've had a lot of crazy stuff happen in my life. So I figured I'd share it, entertain you. Hope, hope you laugh a couple times, if not, not a big deal. This is all for fun. Um, today, I'm gonna be telling the story of how I accidentally got on stage at a 303 concert and got to watch the rest of the concert from stage because it was totally on accident. So, by the way, I don't have a tripod or anything. I'm using a uh, paper towel holder to hold up my phone. <laughs> uh, we're working on it. So anyway, today we're gonna talk about 303. So 303, my guys, Nate and Sean, man, I've been, I've loved them forever. That was the very first concert I went to. In eighth grade, they played this concert called uh, Not So Silent Night. Uh, Channel 93.3 in Colorado, they host um, a concert every year in about December where they have like three to four bands and each band is progressively more famous. So the first concert I ever went to was 303. Uh, and then it was also with Inner Party System. So if you remember the song American Trash, that was, I know it's a throwback. It's the middle school <laughs> songs. Um, I went there with my mom and a couple of my friends. So 303, ever since I first saw them, I was obsessed with them. I, we even had a school dance in middle school where we were all supposed to dress nice and cute and I wore a 303 shirt and I looked really good. No. <laughs> I was obsessed with them. I just, I mean, don't trust me. That's, it's a classic now, but even back in the day before I knew what the lyrics meant, I was singing them all the time. So I was super excited to hear that they were coming to play in Boulder. So I went to college at the University of Colorado and they are from Boulder. So uh, the band 303 was formed in Colorado from Boulder, so it was a hometown concert, and they played on 303 Day. Yeah, it was 303 Day, oh my gosh. So they played on 303 Day, so like March 3rd. Um, actually, I think they came the day after. I think they played two consecutive shows, and one was in Denver, and then the other one was in Boulder. So I went on the March 4th show, I remember that day so distinctly. It, it will forever be ingrained in my mind. So how the story starts, um, wow. So, keep saying so, I'll stop that, I'll try. <laughs> how the story starts is um, the Fox Theater in Boulder is on the hill. So if you guys don't know what the hill is, it's like where all the stuff happens in Boulder, I guess pre-COVID, where all the stuff happened in Boulder. So this was in 2018, so way before anything COVID. Um, that's like where all the fraternities and sororities are. It's where a lot of the bars are. Um, it's where a lot of the food, or a lot of the food, a lot of the restaurants are. So the hill is the place to be, and the Fox Theater is like in the dead center of it. So, what, dang it, okay, we're trying. <laughs> um, the night of March 4th, uh, my company that I work for, Southwestern, um, they have an office that's right across, or we used to have an office that is right across the street from the Fox. So that night, since we're all college students that work together, we had a meeting at like eight o'clock at night. And the day before the concert, I wasn't even planning on going. Um, my roommates decided that they wanted to go. So my roommate CJ, he was like, hey, like, I got some tickets, we should all go to this. And so um, a bunch of us, on, I was on the swim team too, so a bunch of us on this, or dive team technically, but a bunch of us decided to get tickets to this concert. 
that was right after my work meeting. So I, <laughs> I was in like a tank top and jeans. Like I was not ready to go to this concert at all. I had like a hoodie that I tied around my waist to at least try to look presentable. Um, so we have this meeting, it's cool, whatever. And then I walk straight across to the Fox. I'm by myself. Uh, I don't, my friends kind of like pre-gamed before and went separately. But since I was at a work meeting, I wasn't trying to be drunk for it. So <laughs> they were all getting ready to have a good time. And I was being in, being a good co-worker. Um, so after that, we I get into the concert. It's fine. Um, and the Fox Theater, it's pretty small. Like it's not huge. Um, I couldn't even tell you a number of people. I'd say probably like a thousand, maybe a little bit more people can fit in the Fox. So it's not a huge, it's a smaller venue where smaller bands play. So 303, I think was one of the most famous bands that had played there in a while. Um, so it's pretty packed and we got there super excited because I'd already seen them when I was in eighth grade. So it was like a throwback concert. At this point I was a sophomore in college. So it had been years since I'd seen them. Um, they played like the same songs. So it was kind of funny, but so they're playing, um, we were all the way in the back. So my group, there was about eight of us. Yeah, there was about eight of us. There were eight of us that were, ugh, I just threw out that number. Anyway, it, it was close. It was like eight to 10 people. There was a couple of us. We all just wanted to listen to some throwback songs. So we go, we're sitting in the back and it's all fun. Um, they start playing, uh, what the heck is, oh. My first, oh yeah, my first kiss went a little like this. Yeah, we're all, they're all singing it. My friends are pretty drunk, so I'm like filming them and they're just having a good time. We're having fun. Uh, like I know every word to every song, so I was singing along. It was a really fun time. Um, I think I'll insert a video here of like that song and the concert. Uh, I forgot what song it was, but they were drinking on stage. So Nate and Sean, the, the guys in 303, they were uh, drinking on stage. So they were they were having fun. Like it was just a hometown concert. They were seeing all their old friends and family. So they were having fun with us and they were drinking and they decided, all right, guys, we're going to stage dive. And of course, everybody was so excited, but we're all the way in the back. So like, there's no way we're going to be able to even touch them, right? So we're pretty far back um, and they just <laughs> jump into the crowd. So they both had like headset microphones on and this is important to the story. So they had headset microphones on and <laughs> are, uh, they, they're just stage diving and they went pretty far back. Like I was surprised they were starting to come toward us. So uh, Sean, he's the taller one, by the way, and Nate's like the shorter one. So Guys, I was editing and I have to make a crucial correction. Oh my goodness. I said I was obsessed with them and then I mixed them up in the whole story. So when I'm talking about Sean, I mean to be talking about Nate. And when I'm talking about Nate, I mean to be talking about Sean. Carry on. Either way, uh, Sean was on like, we were kind of like, say, here's this, like, I'm looking at you guys, you're the stage. We were over here. So Sean kind of like stage dived this way. And then Nate was like coming right towards us. And so <laughs> Nate came towards us and he reached us. So he reached our group all the way in the back stage diving. It was pretty cool. Um, so <laughs> it's crazy. As we're turn or like the people in front of it, like he didn't get to us. Like we barely, we could like touch his back, but like we couldn't, um, like we didn't grab him or anything. So as Nate is turning around, like he's kind of turning to go back towards the stage because like we carried him pretty far back. <laughs> I hear something drop. And <laughs> I was the only sober one or one of the only sober ones. There's a couple sober keep it kids in our group, but one of them, um, I thought one of my friends who was kind of drunk dropped his phone. So I was like, yo, what the heck? Like you dropped your phone. Um, like you're gonna lose it, whatever. So I go to pick it up and it's Nate's microphone. So it's his, <laughs> it's his headset microphone. Um, I didn't know that at first. I thought I was just confused. I thought it was like a walkie talkie that a security guard dropped. Like I didn't, I couldn't really comprehend it at first. I was like, yeah, there's no way he dropped his microphone in front of me. That's kind of weird. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. So then I have it and I'm like, I was trying to tell my friends I had it and no one was really paying attention because they were like looking at them going up on stage. And so I tried to bring it back to the sound booth because at this point I'm like, oh, I think this is his microphone. He probably needs it. So I go back to the sound booth and I'm like uh, knocking on the window and 
the setup of it was like, it was all the way in the back and they had like glass around them. I mean, for safety reasons, obviously. But I was trying to knock on the door so they would like turn around so I could show them the mic and they were not paying attention to me. And I just kept knocking and they did not say anything. So I was like, well, I don't know what to do with this. So I had this microphone, I'm holding it. And then on stage, they go back on stage and they're like, guys, I think we have a problem. <sighs> we lost our microphone. And he was like, we need that to go on. Like whoever has it, like bring it up and I'll give you 10 bucks. So he literally said that. Nate was like, if you bring it up, I'll give you 10 bucks. And I looked down and I'm like, guys, I think I have it. And they were like, go up there, go up there. So I'm like trying to walk and all these people are trying to grab it from me. Cause I think they see me walking up at this point. I'm like holding it. So people are like trying to grab it from me so they can go up and give it to them. I'm like, get away from me. Like, this is mine. This is mine. <laughs> so I have it. And Finally, security guard, like I get pretty close to the stage, like people start letting me through and the security guard's like, hey, like I'm a security guard, like give it to me. And so I, I'm, at first I'm like, no, you're not, like you're just trying to take it from me. But then she shows her badge. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this is really her. So I give it to her and then I go to turn around <laughs> and Nate is like, yo, yo, come up here for a minute. So <laughs> uh, I'll insert the clip of what happened here. Give it up for Manny for saving the fucking show. Yo, Maddie. Maddie, you can watch the show from up here. So yeah, they're singing to me. <laughs> They're singing to me, and then um, at the end of it, um, they were like, oh yeah, well, uh, I guess you can watch the show from stage. And I was so shook. Uh, oh, I almost forgot, it was my friend's birthday. So <laughs> I also got them. I told uh, Sean, the taller one, I was like, hey, it's my friend's birthday today. Uh, can you shout him out? So they shouted him out, and he was super hyped because it was his 20th birthday, and we were all just really hype. Um, and then, yeah, I got to watch the rest of the show from stage. So I lived my middle school dream. It was so awesome. Yeah, short story, but hope Super you like fun it. one. I still can't believe it. it's probably one of the peaks of my life. <laughs> I cannot believe that that actually happened. When I first told my dad about it or my family, they were like, you just have the luckiest things happen to you. So <laughs> yeah, that was the story about the time that I met 303 and I got to go on stage and watch the concert from stage without a VIP pass. Um, unfortunately, I was only 20 at the time, so I had a, a big X on my hand, so I'm on stage. Uh, one of the sound guys or one of the photographers like hands me a beer and <laughs> I'm like, wait, I can't drink this, like I'm 20, whatever. So I'm like holding this beer and then one of the security guards comes up to me while I'm on stage. He's like, hey, you can't do that. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't buy it, I don't know. I, some guy just handed it to me, so I put it down and then after the show, they probably would have wanted to hang out if I was over 21, but I get it. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't 21. So after the show, they kind of just went back. They went backstage and I hadn't seen him again. Well, I still follow him on Instagram and that's kind of that's kind of um, my only connection with him now, but it's a great story to tell. Um, well, if you want to hear more stories, let me know. Like, subscribe. I'm ready to take this channel off. This is just the beginning and I cannot wait to see where it goes in the future. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, anything else you want to see, let me know. Appreciate it. Bye.